Good afternoon, everyone. Frank Sulkowski with WJCL 22 News. We want to interrupt programming to give you an update on COVID-19 and how it's affecting folks in the state of South Carolina. Let's go live now to Governor Henry McMaster. Was in the recent testing, somewhere between 60 and 70 percent of the younger population from 35 and below uh, had the virus, had tested positive around the country. In South Carolina, I think our numbers were recently, for those 30 and under, it was about 40 percent. Well, what that means is a lot of people have the virus and have had the virus and didn't even know it. And it's uh, the younger people who do not have the underlying disease, underlying weaknesses in the, in the system uh, that are able to, to go right through it with, with minimal uh, um, signs or none at all. And of course, this is the older population of those with underlying conditions that are at grave risk, and I mean grave uh, mortal danger. So it, it is still a time that we must be very, very careful, particularly with school starting in August and all the young people uh, from younger grades all the way on up will be uh, together. Uh, the, the chance for spread there is very high, but again, the population most greatly at risk for being sick and needing to go to the hospital and mortality, of course, is the older population. So we need to know that. And everyone needs to govern themselves according to, to that threat. The one thing that one step, a very big step that we have taken is called the Palmetto Priority Seal. And that is where the, the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association, DHEC, and Parks Recreation Tourism have collaborated on an idea that uh, had earlier been mentioned by Mayor Knox White in, in Greenville. They called it the uh, Greenville Pride. Well, this is the, this is the Palmetto Priority Seal that has the active participation of DHEC, PRT, and the Restaurant and Lodging Association to provide a decal to go on restaurants that have passed the test and willing to conform to the requirements set out in the, in the, in the process. And that is the staff will be wearing masks, that there'll be uh, sanitation of, of the tables, of all the, everything that you've heard about the, the menus and the, uh, all the facilities will be sanitized after each customer and those in various spacing. And if they do that, if they, they have to take some, some training, online training, if they do that, then they will receive this decal. And that means that they are participating and that they are fully compliant. Now, how, how do we determine that they, that they are fully compliant? Well, that's where the public comes in. And if, if they have this seal, or it, it, and you go in, a, a, a customer, and you go in and you see that these requirements are not being met, then you can go on the internet and you can bring that fact uh, to the authority of the Restaurant and Lodging Association. And they will inquire, and they will counsel, and they, the restaurant will have three chances of not making it. And after the fourth chance, then the decal and the recognition and the clearance is taken back. And as for, I would recommend people, once this program begins and once the decals are available, if you go into a restaurant and it doesn't have this decal, it doesn't have this seal, go somewhere else. That's what I'd do. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I urge everyone to do. And this will be the, the free market at no cost to the customer, with no limitation on anyone's constitutional rights. This will be a, a program and an effort that will produce a desired result. And it, and it will work. So that's what we're here for to announce today, and the more details will be provided. John Durst is the president and CEO of the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association. Dwayne Parrish is the director of Department of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. And Marshall Taylor is the acting director of the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. John Durst. Good afternoon. Thank you, Governor, very much. And, uh, we, I want uh, to begin by expressing appreciation for your disciplined, strong leadership. Uh, it is my great honor on behalf of the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association to, 
to bring just some very brief remarks about the program which the governor just announced. Um, we are truly living in a very different world than any of us could have imagined at the beginning of this year. During these unprecedented times, we've witnessed the incredible strength and commitment of our hospitality industry to recover. With the help of our partners at the federal, state, and local levels, we have developed guidelines which provide a roadmap to strategically maximize and hasten our recovery as an industry. These guidelines are largely industry-driven, and they reflect the incredible collaboration between the governor's office, DHEC, PRT, the Department of Employment and Workforce, DOR, SLED, and Accelerate SC, among others. On behalf of our partners, we are therefore extremely pleased and honored to participate in announcing this Palmetto Priority Initiative. As we continue to work together, we look forward to strengthening the results of our unified push for a clean, safe dining experience for both our restaurants and patrons all across our great state. And that's what the Palmetto Priority is all about. Working together, we will be a model for resilience across our country, which will know what it really means to be South Carolina strong. Thank you. Thank you. Dwayne Parrish. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, John. I'm Dwayne Parrish with South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. If you think about all the wonderful food offerings we have in this state, from boiled peanuts, shrimp and grits, pimento cheese, um, we're so blessed in our agricultural heritage. Um, so much so that in the PRT, we've actually done tourism campaigns surrounding that. The South Carolina Barbecue Trail, our Satisfy Your Thirst Trail. We are blessed to have those, and our South Carolina Chef Ambassadors, they live this every day through the rich heritage of the food and the, that they prepare and serve to both visitors and residents alike. Um, at PRT, we're certainly, glad, we're certainly proud to partner with the restaurant industry, and certainly we take it upon ourselves that um, it's a wonderful thing that they have decided to embrace high standards of cleanliness, health, and safety to make everyone feel comfortable for both visitors, residents alike, as the governor alluded to, asking for patrons' feedback for the restaurants. And I think the great operators will certainly take the opportunity to sign up for this. If they're a member of the Restaurant Association, great. If they're not a member of the Restaurant Association, that's okay too. There's no cost for them to sign up for this program. So we think it's a wonderful opportunity for restaurants to show just how seriously they take this and how proud they are to be part of South Carolina's food offerings. I want to thank our collaboration with the Governor's Office, DHEC, and the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association. Thank you. Marshall Taylor. Thank you, Governor. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Marshall Taylor, and I'm the Acting Director at DHEC. And uh, what the Governor said is true. The numbers continue to rise, and it's important that everybody wears one of these, um, especially with regard to our young people. Um, remember, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for everybody else. So, uh, with regard to, to this effort, um, from the first presence of COVID-19 in our state, DHEC and the South Carolina Restaurant Association and Lodging Association have worked together to gather information and best practices to advise the governor and the Accelerate South Carolina on guidance for our state's retail food establishments. DHEC is proud to be a part of South Carolina Palmetto Priority which is another great state step our state is taking in continuing to protect health while we carefully reopen the state's restaurant community. The Palmetto Priority is a formal commitment that restaurant owners can take to show their dedication to adhering to the current recommended precautions for protecting their employees and patrons from COVID-19. DHEC will provide verification that a restaurant meets the criteria to participate in the program. By choosing to dine at a restaurant that has opted to participate in the Palmetto Priority Pledge, customers can rest assured that the restaurant has met the specific requirements established through the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association's restaurant reopening guidance. The pandemic has made us all be creative and innovative in our ongoing commitment to protecting the health and well-being of South Carolinians, and we appreciate this opportunity to join our partners in protecting the state of South Carolina's health. Thank you, Marshall. <clears throat> Let me mention some of these requirements. <clears throat> the, 
The restaurant must complete a DHEC virtual food safety check or a limited scoop or scoop, excuse me, limited scope food safety inspection, and that'll be available at different times. Uh, they must be available. They're available for free by scheduling it with the inspectors. Uh, they can confirm all of that on the website. The managers of the restaurants must complete the serve safe reopening guidance. And uh, there's a 13 minute course available on servesafe.com. There'll be a certificate of uh, completion. All employees of the restaurant must be trained on the appropriate cleaning and disinfecting, hand hygiene, proper face covering and respiratory etiquette, and as additional information as well. Uh, they must adhere to the minimum standards outlined by the South Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association restaurant reopening guidance, and that includes a variety of things, most of which you've heard of before. They uh, have signs about advising customers not to enter if they're symptomatic. Uh, select one person per shift to be in charge of the safety and sanitation during the shift. Uh, signs reminding of, of hand hygiene and proper hand washing for customers and staff. Each employee is required to wear a face covering, that is a cloth or paper face covering, face mask or full face shield. Hand sanit uh, sanitizing stations have to be available for all customers and employees. Those are the kind of things, and that's the only about a half of, of the list. And those are the kind of things that they must all agree to to implement and to continue going in order to to receive this. And as I mentioned, the fourth time that they are, it's verified that they're not following those procedures and guidelines and they lose their, lose their uh, sticker. And again, this, this is very, this is a great way. It's probably the most effective way to get this, this done here. Are there any questions? Shona? Well, this is this was uh, an idea that came up during Accelerate SC, and as I mentioned, they they have done it in in Greenville. It's a little bit different, but this was uh, has been worked on for some period of time, and we believe that it'll work. At the beginning, the restaurants were more limited. In first, as you recall, it was outdoor service only. Excuse me, pickup service, and then it, later it was. Uh, outdoor service and then it was a certain percentage of indoor service and that's limited indoor service with pursuant to the various guidelines. This is a way to guarantee, to certify to the public that that particular restaurant is doing all the things that the science today says, says they should do for best practices to be sure that that virus is not spread in that restaurant. When's the soonest that they can actually get that detail? When's the soonest they can get it to do that? Website is up. The website is up now. What's the website? It's, uh, it's, it's on the website. Sure. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's palmettapride.com is the website. It's available on there now. There's an application for restaurants to sign up right away. How long does it take them to get it? To get, get the back? sticker? Uh, no, no. Governor May, uh, the uh, test that, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Um, the, uh, the, the test that uh, people who are interested in receiving the certification will be taking, uh, it takes about 30 seconds to 60 seconds to go through the initial phase. There are several phases they can go through, but after they satisfactorily complete that initial uh, questionnaire, they can uh, push a button and then they receive their certificate and they're good to go. So uh, we are uh, ready to hit the ground running. Thank you, sir. Yes. And that's a look at what's coming out of the state of South Carolina. Uh, Governor Henry McMaster giving an update on a new restaurant initiative there in the Palmetto State. We will have much more coming up on our news at 5 o'clock. We now return you to normal programming.